So welcome guys to my next episode where I've taken the Dortmund job. We've left Aston Villa and here we are. So as soon as I come to the squad hub I see that our best player Jaden Sancho is joining Manchester City when the transfer window in, uh, opens. Uh, and I don't think there's any way to like undo a deal, right? Not that I know of. So that is terrible news, but uh, I guess we'll find out how much money he left for and we'll probably be able to bring in uh, someone similar to replace him. So here we go, we have Jaden Sancho. Like I just said, he's leaving. Julian Brandt, 88 overall. Uh, great player in great form right now for us. Uh, Memphis Depay, the center field left wing Cam from the Netherlands. 87 overall, good form, contract expiring in 12 months, just like Brandt will sign both of those guys up. Uh, Fabian, uh, 87 overall, 27 year old Spaniard, at the CM, CDM and CAM position. Ruben Neves uh, from Portugal, the former, uh, he was with Wolves, before 87 overall. Alessio Cranio. The 29-year-old goal, goalkeeper from Italy, 86 overall. Uh, good, solid player right there. Paco Alcacer, excellent form. 29-year-old year old Spaniard, 85 overall. Uh, Bernadeschi, uh, status has that something special. 85 overall, right mid. Uh, Cam, I guess he would replace Sancho for the time being. And then the 34-year-old Marco Royce. Uh, still there, still at Dortmund, uh, still 85 overall, so uh, at some point I would think he would start declining pretty sharply. And then backup goalkeeper Roman Berkey from Switzerland, 32 years old. Uh, we may try to move him, transfer him since he's 32. I don't know how much longer he could play, but maybe, maybe a few more years. Then right back, 84 overall, the German Lucas Klosterman, right back, left back, Right wing back, uh, I like his versatility. And then Correa, the Argentinian, 28 year old, 84 overall, center field striker, Cam, a pretty versatile player. Lucer Mazauri, Mazauri. So I've gone and I've looked up everyone's uh, how to pronounce all of their names correctly since so many people get on me about some of the Aston Villa players. So I've gone, I've taken down all the major players on this team uh, to get all their names correctly. And then uh, Julian Weigel, 83 uh, overall, CDM center back, 27 year old. He is leaving us as well. Going to Spurs when the transfer window opens, which I think is any day now. Rafael Guerrero, 83 year old, 83 overall, 29 year old. Uh, Left mid, left back, center mid from Portugal, Mahmoud Daoud, uh, 83 overall, 27. So we got a lot of guys that are in their prime. Mario Gutza, 83 overall, center field cam, center mid. Mats Hummels, 83 overall, leader of men, 34 years old, so he'll be leaving soon. Vili Orban, uh, the 30 year old Hungarian, 83 overall, center back. So they do need a little bit of work at center back, I believe. Nico Schultz, 83 overall. A left wing back, left back, left mid. 30 year old. And then former, former Aston Villa player, Bjorn Ongles, the Belgium, the Belgian, <laughs> 28 year old center back uh, with us here. And then the aging Benzema, 80 year old, uh, 80 overall, 35 year old Frenchman, uh, he's transfer listed right now because of his age. Jakob Larsson, 80 overall, 24 year old. Danish player, left mid. Victor Fischer, 80 overall, 29 years old. Uh, Relio uh, Buta, 26 year old Portuguese, right back, 79 overall. Uh, I'm not seeing too many young guys on this team. Sancho was 23 and he's leaving, so. Uh, 28, we have Sergio Gomez, 22 year old, so. Uh, uh, young guy coming up, 78 overall. Uh, Damsgaard, 22 year old. Uh, he's transfer listed right now, but I'll probably take him off of that uh, since he's his age. 
Laura Stendel, 75 overall, 34 year old. Paslak, 25 and 74, 75 overall. Uh, Bufanta, <clears throat> only 21, center mid, 74 overall, so he'll be one to keep an eye on. Um, Mateu More, 73 overall, 23 year old Spaniard at right back. So we do have a few younger players coming up, just not really uh, superstar material. Valerity, 73 year old, 73 overall, uh, Argentinian. And then uh, some of these guys I haven't uh, got all their names, looked them up, can't find all of them. Unbehan, 72 overall. Tobias Raschel, 71. Uh, he looks like he's a up and coming uh, guy here as well. And a few more in the 60s that will probably never see uh, the field for Borussia Dortmund. So that is our squad. They're going with the 4-2-3-1 wide, which I'll leave for the time being. And we'll bring in Bernadeschi when Sancho leaves. Now let's see the calendar. Uh, yeah, so basically any day now uh, those transfers will go through. I don't know who's incoming, but I'll make sure to see... Uh, to show you guys who came in. I'm going to do a better job of showing the transfers uh, specifically and showing that on camera. Uh, so we're going to jump on in and play a few matches. Uh, and then, well not play a few matches, we're going to fast forward through uh, a few days and I'll bring it back once we have um, have something to show you guys. So let's have a look at this squad. Uh, it's pretty strong except our back four, we need an upgrade uh, definitely in that area. So we'll look in the transfer hub and see who we could bring in. I also want to bring in a uh, better striker now that we have $275 million to work with. Uh, Alcacer is getting older and we uh, can move him back into the bench. So. Here is our short list that we looked at off camera. Timu Werner, we want to bring the German back to the Bundesliga from Arsenal where he killed us at Aston Villa for those three years we were there. Uh, so we go ahead and offer 50 million for him. Will they go for it? Nope, too low, they want 81. That's kind of kind of steep, uh, more than I want to pay. But we do have the money. Uh, we counter, they reject it. So we go ahead and give them the 81 million. So we look at Davidson Sanchez from Tottenham, who we did sign in our alternate universe Aston Villa match we played recently, last episode. So we go ahead and offer 60 million for Sanchez. They come back, say they want 62 million. So we go ahead and accept that uh, to get him locked up. So that upgrades our striker position and a center we have a dominant center back who's strong aggressive and uh can score hitters for us uh even though we hadn't played with dortmund yet crosses are usually a issue in fifa so we go ahead and work out a deal with timo Werner, and everybody's happy and there we go so he signed up now we move on to try to sign sanchez to see what kind of deal he wants here. Uh, he wants to be crucial, of course he will be. He's 87 overall. Why wouldn't you, mate? So he wants $86 million release clause. That seems kind of low. I mean, we did get him kind of cheap. Uh, we're gonna switch it to 100 million and go from there and see what they say. They come back and say, nope. <laughs> so. We'll give them that release clause they want because we want Sanchez on this squad. Uh, and we have so much money uh, right now that, you know, it's fine. We, we won't, we'll make it up in uh, ticket sales, shirt sales, and everything else. And I'm sure we'll get some transfer offers. We do have quite a bit of players we can let go that are highly rated on our reserve. Uh, you know, reserve squad, reserve team, whatever you want to call them. Uh, reserves. So, with this, uh, we're going to go after Grimaldo from Manchester City, the left back. Another 87 rated player would be a huge upgrade. And uh, we make that uh, defense very formidable. 
So we're going to go ahead and they want 101 million for him. We're not going to pay that for him. So hopefully we can work out some kind of deal. We come back with 85 million. And they want 93. So we'll kind of meet them halfway. And that'll leave us around the 40 million, 44 million dollar mark left. So we get him locked up. We negotiate Grimaldo's deal. So we've added uh, Timo Werner, Sanchez, and now Grimaldo, unless we blow the uh, negotiations here. So three years, everybody's happy with that. He's going to be crucial. No uh, release clause. Well, from 160,000 wages a week and a $275,000 signing bonus. He should be happy with that. And he is, and Grimaldo is now playing for Dortmund. So let's check out this squad and add these guys in. And if you haven't noticed, I just noticed that from the transfer uh, window, Bruno Fernandez is now on our team. So we're going to add him in at some point uh, to that midfield. So that's... Uh, a little crazy there. <laughs> Didn't know he was coming. A pleasant surprise. Uh, a consolation prize for losing Sancho. And now look at our... This is... Uh, it's quite the difference between managing Aston Villa uh, here, talent-wise. Because on the re just this reserve squad could just uh, blow Villa out the water here. So we're just going to kind of go through, see what we want to do. Matt Hummels, we could bring on. I mean, we have Fabian at an 87 overall. I mean, uh, Benzema's transfer listed. Hopefully, we can get him out. So, we bring Fernandez on for Neves. Our back four is looking nice. And let's uh, advance here and see if any transfer offers come in that we might want to take a look at or even take. So, let's see. So, $92 million transfer budget. So, Manchester United won Benzema for $47 million. I will gladly take that for a 35-year-old reserve player. We're going to try to get a little bit more out of them and ask for 55 and then let's see if they come up some. Wow. So, they come back with 53. Gladly take $53 million for somebody who would probably never see the field for us. So... Mario Goza, Watford won him for 21 million. Uh, we'll see what we get for him. Uh, he's another one that probably wouldn't see much playing time, and he's 31 years old. So we'll ask for 29. And they come back, offer us 25.8. We'll gladly take that. So about 70 million between those two players. So they want Correa. Uh, I'm not letting him go. Uh, he. he he can play uh, three positions, so we'll leave that versatility there and not get rid of that. So here's another, some other players we're looking at. Shortlist another center back. I'm going to go for Diaz over Koulibaly, uh, just for age reasons. Uh, and Diaz a little bit cheaper. So we, we offer $55 million for him. They want 58 Fine, that's another three million. Here you go, gladly. So now we'll have two 87 overalls, an 86 and an 84 right back. So that'll be a very solid defense for us. Our middle four is amazing. And our top is amazing as well. So, <laughs> so if we don't uh, do well this year, then I am just terrible. And I probably shouldn't be allowed to play with any uh, major European teams anymore. And I just need to go uh, pick a league, league two team and stay there. So we did look at a, a keeper. Uh, just, just keeping him there just in case. Kind of as a backup maybe. So we add Diaz to the, to the back four. And that is a team right there. Cannot complain. Our reserve is, uh, our bench is stacked. We have an 89 overall on our bench. I probably should bring him in for the pie. Um, and we have an 88 on our reserve team. 
Fabian. Like, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> so maybe we need to transfer a list, a few more people. So until next episode, you guys take care.